Good morning. It's August 30th, 2020, and we are here at the Go Art building in Batavia. Go Art is the Genesee Orleans Regional Art Council, and in 2010, they sent out a request for assistance with their gardens. A group of master gardeners uh, answered their call, and they started their design work. garden design and it was due to bindweed. In their documents they call it the bindweed wars. So in their effort to control the bindweed they planted a number of annuals. So in 2014 with the bindweed on the run they were able to install perennial plants. Here we are six years later and we're going to take a look to see how well those perennial plants have stood to the site conditions which includes a very busy street corner in this urban environment, we have a lot of vehicle traffic as well as pedestrian traffic. There's also a lot of snow here in Batavia, and so because we're on a highway, uh, state vehicles will salt the roads and plow the roads, so there's a lot of salt spray that hits this garden. So the master gardeners, when they took up the challenge, they looked at site conditions, they also looked at the architecture of the building, and then designed appropriately for this space. As you can see here um, in this small little garden that joins, that connects the uh, public space to the fence and then into the private or semi-public space of the garden, they planted low-growing perennials, which include lavender, lemon balm, chives and a lovely purple mint. Within this space, which stretches across the building, around the building, they incorporated over a thousand bulbs. So in the winter, early spring, you'll see a number of uh, blossoms pop up, which is just a wonderful way to greet the, the end of winter and the beginning of the spring and summertime here in western New York. Behind the fence, within this semi-public space, we have oak leaf hydrangeas, which bank the windows. We have lamium as a ground cover. We also have iris and additional lavender. Tucked in underneath the oak leaf hydrangea are peonies as well as bleeding heart. On the opposite side of the garden is pretty much the same makeup. We have iris, lamium, and lavender, as well as uh, coral belts, I believe. We can see that due to the sunlight, the difference in sunlight, the plants are growing at different rates and are spreading at different rates. The lavender, um, there were two or three plants that were purposefully planted, but we can see here that it is self-seeded and starting to uh, take um, root in these open areas. As we move to this front garden here, again, we see that lavender and the creeping thyme are the plants that have survived the site conditions, as well as a few volunteer uh, milkweed plants. The fairy rose here um, has done very well. It uh, has survived uh, multiple winters and continues to thrive and provides us with these beautiful pink blossoms in the summer and into fall. It looks wonderful next to the uh, lemon balm with its light lavender blossoms. Here at the corner, we make a transition. Uh, we have this wide corner bed, and here we have lavender chives. Again, we're repeating some of the same themes with the lemon balm, but we've added to it the iris as well as uh, day lilies. And there are a few Asiatic lilies, but their blossoms have ended here by August. We have a little bit of fall color coming on. We're anticipating seeing what color the mums are. I don't see documents noting what color the mums are, but we'll wait to see maybe in September. And we'll come back and visit the gardens and show you the colors. The hydrangeas here are doing very well. Again, we have lamium as the ground cover. We also have some juniper that's tucked in. But unfortunately, it did not do well this past winter, and so there was a lot of brown, and those were trimmed. 
Uh, so we hope that it will reproduce some green uh, leaves for us over the coming years. The hostas, they were here up uh, close to the driveway entrance uh, in this very narrow bed and we're suffering this summer. So we relocated them here in a nice grouping and we hope they too will thrive. Here at the ADA ramp, right as we're entering the building, was a group of boxwoods. And again, they did not make it over the winter, I think to the uh, road salt and sidewalk salt. A few more volunteers of milkweed as well as oaks from the street trees. And then we have the Zurich style landscape with uh, stone crop, sedum, the ever present milkweed at the moment, which is doing a battle with aphids. Uh, we think it'll survive, but it might need a little bit of help from the gardeners. And then, of course, more sedum and stone crop. We're going to end our tour here with a view of the mural wall, kind of this nice history of Batavia. And I'll share with you some ideas that uh, for the garden over the fall. We plan to uh, group some of the initial plantings together, uh, so create more mass plantings uh, in hopes that they can support each other more um, and manage these harsh conditions. We'll also add to uh, what the master gardeners originally designed, so more roses, um, more perennial herbs, um, so that we have hopefully a really full grouping of plants and uh, we'll see how it goes. So thank you for uh, tuning in to this quick little video for Go Art and the Master Gardeners. And uh, keep, keep tuned, we'll uh, update as we make changes throughout the fall. Bye bye.